Hello students and welcome to the third math session. Let's make a brainstorm about what you have learned in the previous session. Okay, starting with the first rule, when you have two powers that are multiplied having the same base, you keep the base and add the exponents. Example, 10 to the power 3 times 10 to the power 5 equal 10 to the power 8. The second rule said that if I have two numbers that are multiplied and having the same exponent, you can distribute the exponent. Example, 4 times 6 squared, it's 4 squared times 6 squared, and you can use this rule in another way which is when you have 4 squared times 6 squared, you can multiply the base, which will be 24 squared, okay, and keep the same exponent. Okay, let's start correcting the homework. Starting with exercise number 5, page 18. Write in the form of a power. You have to write the answer as a power. If you see these numbers, they have same base. So you have to use the first rule. You have to keep the same base and add the exponents. So the first one is 2 to the power 8. The second one, 2 to the power 7. Why? 4 plus 3 equal to 7. 3 to the power 6. And the last one, we don't have an exponent above 5. So the exponent is 1. 1 plus 7 is 8. So it is 5 to the power 8. Now, starting with exercise number 6 in the same page, write as an integer. It means you have to find the answer. 10 cubed, you can write 10 times 10 times 10, or directly you can put 1 and 3 zeros. 1,000. Okay, the second one, 10 to the power 4, 1 and 4 zeros. The third one, 2 times 10 squared. You can make it in two steps. 2 times, what's the meaning of 10 squared? It's 100. So it's 2 times 100, which will be 200. Okay, 3 times 10 squared, similarly, 3 times 100 which will be equal to 300. The last one, 3 times 10 cubed, it means 3 times 1,000, which will be 3,000. Okay, now you have to take a note before we continue to the last exercise. What's the meaning of powers of 10? Powers of 10 are all powers that have 10 as a base. Examples, 10 squared, 10 cubed, 10 to the power 5, 10 to the power 8, and so on. Okay, every power have, every power that has a base 10, we call it power of 10, which are 10, 100, 1000, and 10,000. Okay, now let's correct exercise number 7. We have to write in the form of a power of 10. The first one, 10,000. It has how many zeros? Four zeros, so it will be 10 to the power. It will be 10 to the power 4. 100,000, how many zeros? It has five zeros, so 10 to the power 5. 100, it's 10 squared. 10, it has one zero. You can write it as 10 or 10 to the power 1. Okay, look here, it's 1. Let's review which rule tells us that any power, any power to the exponent, what gives me 1? Any number to the power 0 gives me 1. So it's 10 to the power 0. Okay? The last one, it has six zeros, so it's 10 to the power 6. Okay, please correct them on your copy. Now, let's continue the lesson. Now, going to make activity number 3. 
Calculate 2 over 5 to the exponent 3. It means I have to multiply 2 over 5 by itself 3 times. 2 times 2 times 2, we multiply the numerators by each other and the denominators by each other to get 8 over 125. Okay, 2. Calculate 2 cube over 5 cube. 2 cube, it's 2 times 2 times 2. 5 cube, it's 5 times 5 times 5. 2 times 2 times 2, it's what? It's 8. 5 times 5 times 5, it's 125. What do you notice? Look at part 1 and part 2. We notice that also on division, we can distribute the exponent similarly to the multiplication. So the third rule tells us if I have a division or a quotient of powers, we can distribute the exponent on the numerator and on the denominator. Let's make some application. Complete the following. 4 takes the exponent 5 and 3 takes the exponent 5. Okay, the exponent can be distributed over division and multiplication. Look at part 2. 13 takes an exponent 5. So the exponent of this quotient is 5. And the numerator will be 7 to the power 5. Okay, now going to property number 4. Part 1. Calculate 5 squared to the power 3. Going back to the definition of powers, it means I have to multiply 5 squared by itself 3 times, 5 squared times 5 squared times 5 squared. Using rule 1, I have powers having same base, so we add the exponents. It will be 5 to the power 6. Part 2, calculate 5, 2 times 3, which will be 5 to the power 6. What do you notice? We notice that they have the same value. So the fourth rule said that if I have a power and parentheses, I have one base with two powers and parentheses. You multiply the exponents. You can use this property directly. Okay? Okay, let's take a summary about all the multiplication property of powers. The first one, product of powers. If I have two powers multiplied by each other, having same base, you keep the base and add the exponents. When you have a power to a power, you keep the base and multiply the powers. Okay, the dot here indicates times multiplication. Keep it in your mind. Parentheses always indicates multiplication. Okay? And the third one, which is when I have two powers having an exponent, you can distribute the exponents. So exponent A will go to X and will go to Y. Property 5, which is the last property, which is about quotient of powers. This property is used when dividing two exponential expressions with the same base. Take an example, x to the power 5 divided by x to the power 3. x to the power 5 is x times x times x times x times x. Okay, I didn't put here times because times and x are similar to each other. x cubed is x times x times x. Go back to grade 6 when I have a fraction, I can simplify. If I simplify x by x, okay, so I will get remaining only x times x in the numerator and in the denominator, they are all simplified, so the answer will be 1. x times x will be x squared. What do you notice? 
here we have x to the power 5 over x cubed gives me x squared. If you have same base and you have division, you keep the base and subtract the exponents. Okay, so here is the last rule, which is I have same base, you subtract the exponent. You can use this rule when you have same base only. So the division properties, the first one, when you have the same base, you subtract the exponents. The other one, when you have powers having same exponent, the exponent is distributed over division. So this is the end of session three. Thank you for watching.